What's up, Restoration Nation? It is Pastor Steve Harris coming to you from my garage. As you can see, my garage door here, and it's a beautiful overcast sky day today. But overcast usually kind of brings out some stuff in people, especially me. Sometimes I get very melancholy, and I kind of go like this. And um, there's been a lot of things going on in my life, and uh, especially my family. So. Um, today's subject is called a haircut. <laughs> Notice, I just got my haircut last night. I'm looking all silky smooth and like a silver fox now. Um, but I feel really good when I get a haircut because I get my hair all puffy and everything. And then it's like, oh, I got to like, come on, man. Like, let's get rid of the weeds here. And then when Darla De Leon cuts my, my wife and I and, you know, cuts our hair or whatever, I feel awesome. But that period of time when you get the haircut, it's not so pretty. You get hair that comes in your eyes and you get all down you and you start to itch. And last night I didn't get a shower afterwards, so I was really itching. I normally don't do that. But in life, many times we need something like this, that God is the pruner. This is the hedge trimmer. And I'm going to show you out here. I'm going to walk backwards without hitting my head. And I'm going to show you what I did yesterday and what my son did today. And my mother-in-law. She gets credit too because she did a little hard work here for the weeding. So we see in the Bible that um, Jesus talks about, I am the vine, but the father is the, is the gardener. And if bushes and weeds and grass are left unkept, it's a big, big, thick mess, right? Where am I getting at with this? Well, let me just show you the, the agricultural part of this, okay, without making you dizzy. And then I'm going to tie it into real life, all right? So behind me, you can see Seth cut the grass today. The grass was very high, probably about six inches high because our lawnmower just decided to die on us. So we borrowed my neighbors and he cut the grass. So you can see behind me here that he's uh, did a good job. He tried to cut everywhere he could. The pile that you see here are weeds. Let's see, I'll go over here on the sidewalk there that were uh, plucked out by my mother-in-law. And over here were bushes that I tried to trim back a little bit. Let's tie it to real life. Recently, my brother-in-law passed away. Randy Forte was the same age as me. We were 48 years old. He was gonna be 49 in, in October. In life, sometimes God will prune and do things that are way out of our comfort zone, way out of what we think the plan is only to do greater things. Randy is now getting his reward in heaven, we believe. Yes, it'll be very painful for the family to live without their husband and father. And I don't know what that's like, so I'm not gonna dare say, oh, I know what you're going through because I have no clue how I would act, how I would do it, no idea. But I do know this. Many times in our life, we need a good pruning. We need something that is going to cut us down to bring us closer to God. And it hurts. There is no doubt about it. Sometimes he'll take finances away. Sometimes he'll take luxuries away. Sometimes he'll even take loved ones away. I can't explain it all away and just say I know when, where, how, and why because nobody really does. But I do know this. We all are going to die. We all are going to get there. And one of these days, they're going to be talking about me when my time is coming. But with that, for those that are alive, that pruning hurts. And when we go through that pruning and we, we ask God questions like, why? I have another uh, you know, friend that he lost his son, um, unfortunately, to an overdose of an addiction. And with that, um, the kid was only, I think, in his early 20s. God could have saved him. Um, had the same thing happen with somebody in our church. And, 
You know, same thing. God could inter intervene and save them. Chose not to. But I do know this. Whatever you're going through in life, understand there's going to be a pruning at times. And when the pruning happens, and that pain happens, it's literally for our own good. We don't even see it. We may not even understand it that way because our finite minds cannot understand the infinite. But God knows better than we do. And the moral of the whole story is we have to just lean on him harder, trust him. And if one person raises their hand tomorrow night and says, yes, Jesus, his life was used as a ransom for someone else. So today, when you get pruned, or that time comes when you do get pruned, remember this video. It's not easy, but it's worth going through because you're going to be better and you're going to blossom way better than you can ever imagine. So... I just want to say, God bless you guys. This is a hard one, but hang in there.